Hello YouTube, Vlogging Eric Serence here and this week I'm going to be talking about, in my opinion, five stupid things about the movement to make Australia a republic. This is a, I guess you could say it's a sort of parody of Steve Shive's five stupid things series, but I personally don't think it is. I'm just giving five things I think are pretty stupid about the republic movement, I guess, is really all I can say. So let's begin with the first reason. Australia Day and the Queen's Birthday. These two times of the year seem to be the times when the Republican movement in Australia always raise their voices and argue for Australia becoming a republic. It's almost routine at this point and it's becoming both boring and annoying hearing them at the same time every single year. There has only been one constitutional vote on whether Australia became a republic or not, and at the time the republic movement was divided based on what type of republic Australia should become. And even today, I still have no idea about what type of republic the republic movement wants Australia to become. It hasn't been discussed. Even now there's bipartisanship on Australia becoming a republic. And most of the premiers agree. And I'm not even sure Malcolm Turnbull, the Prime Minister, and Bill Shorten, the Opposition Leader, even agree on what Republic model they want Australia to become. This is perhaps the biggest thing related to the debate about Australia becoming a Republic. As I will go into more detail about later in this video, this serves as nothing more than a distraction from the major problems in this country, no, this planet, is facing. And it's not just all the financial environmental issues that this distracts people from. It's distracting politicians from their job managing the country. It's almost shameful that this crops up every year. But the media loves distracting people from the horrors of every day. And it doesn't just distract people from the major issues this country is facing. It also distracts people from celebrating Australia Day or Invasion Slash Survival Day according to the Aborigines. And similarly to this stupid reason, As I briefly talked about in the third stupid thing, the Republic debate is distracting politicians from the main things that are causing major problems with this country, no, the world at the moment. From the China slowdown, to the crashing oil and metal prices slamming holes in the bottom line, to climate change probably rendering large parts of Australia uninhabitable by the end of this century, or even putting entire island nations underwater. So the financial difficulties we got into under Labour and which the Coalition have drastically worsened since they took power. This argument doesn't do anything to help with the real issues at hand. For people like you and me, it really won't make much difference whether we are a monarchy or a republic. So why does this argument continue? There's a lot more that we would have to do than just change the wording of how Australia is described. We would have to make a number of constitutional changes, which is why we would have to go to a referendum. And then we would have to have another two referendums, not only to decide on the model our flag should go for, but then what models it would replace the Union Jack. It's all so unnecessary. And the cost would be enormous, putting even more pressure on an already struggling bottom line. So that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I also hope it was insightful. Please rate, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a great day, everyone.